Salud Lunatics! Bienvenidos a Salud Lunatics TV. Yo soy Sol. Y yo soy Luna. And today we're gonna talk about a sensitive topic, a story time, something that happened to us recently, and is that we were oh. almost camped oh. by a Filipino. Tan tan tan. <laughs> Uh, disclaimer, we're doing this to raise awareness, guys, because this can happen to anyone vulnerable out there. Yeah. It can happen to our lolas, lolos, titos and titas, or someone who, 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 you know, is vulnerable. Yeah. So, so we needed to talk about this topic and let you guys know and what's identify going on. And the red flags. The red flags. Do not fall for scams out there yeah that's all right so this is how we almost got scammed yesterday in the philip no it was not yesterday it was the day before yesterday we almost got scammed okay this is what happened we were ordering uh, some food from grab right and then uh you order i think it was like a strawberry drink like a strawberry cooler yeah, like a cooler you yeah, know yeah i remember i input the order and i send everything and then i see there's already a map in the app that tells you where the driver is it's, and it said that the driver was already in the store and then suddenly i get a call so i'm like uh, on the phone with this guy who claims to be the owner of the store or the person who works there or whatever like oh uh, this is uh, regarding your order from grab because like i see that you enter two uh, strawberry coolers so i wanted to confirm if you wanted two strawberry coolers or one strawberry cooler so uh, at first he was speaking tagalog to me and i didn't understand everything but like i knew it was about the strawberry thing i thought that he was telling me like he was over or something so i just told him like oh okay so like i i was asking luna like okay so the straw is the strawberry is over so it's like no it's not over man just to confirm if you want it two or if you want only one so we're like how many did you request and you're like i requested only one and then he started, he continued speaking Tagalog and I'm like, I'm so sorry, I don't understand. And then Luna took the phone to see if she could understand the guy. Yeah, what well, he was saying that he was going to refund the money for one of the coolers, right? So, ah, yeah, because he asked you like, do you want two coolers or one strawberry? Yeah. And you said, no, only one, I only order one. Oh, but I see that there's two in the order, so I'm going to delete that and refund you, right? No, he said that he need my Gcash to refund me. Ah, yeah. So when I told him I do not have Gcash, he said, ah, send me then your bank account. So I, that's, that immediately gave me a red flag mm. because when they refund stuff, in the grab app what the store does is that they just modify the amount within the app like, yeah they usually delete the product and they uh, remove that amount yeah because they the usually like when you request food on grab it just holds the amount from the card it's not actually paid like until you receive your order so yeah, that was weird. There's no reason to refund if the payment hasn't been done yet. So yeah, that's a, that was a red flag for me uh, because usually when there's s something else and they call me, they tell me I will modify it in the app. I will remove this. And when they remove something, then the app notifies me that the price changed because they removed an item. or if they add something else, they replace something for something else. Like for example, if there's no pan de sal and they send me pan de coco and they replace it in the app, the price changes. Those, all this is done 
through the app. Yeah. So this person is asking me my GCash or my bank account yeah. to refund me the money. So that immediately when, when you see that they want to do financial stuff outside of the app, that immediately is a red flag. So my brain yeah. immediately flagged this conversation. And I remember I told him, but can you do it through the app? You just have to delete the mm. extra through the app. Yeah. And it's going to Because it update. has happened so many times to us, so we know how it works. Yeah. So he said, no, because in the app, I don't have uh, the whole access right now, blah, blah, blah. Give me an excuse. Uh, when he talked about the app, he's, he was hesitating in his voice. So, like, you can brush up the hesitation to he doesn't speak much English or he doesn't know what to say. But whatever he said, it was full of bullshit. So <laughs> I just told him, you know what, don't refund it, don't refund it then. And, and I closed the call immediately. And then I told Sol, that was a scam. Because he was asking me my bank account. Yeah, and you also told him, like, but my bank account yeah, is I international. Yeah, I told him, my bank account is international. Because there's not gonna, they're not going to send, like, a 100 pesos refund f through an international account that is going to mm. take them, like, more money on fees. Yeah, it so, makes no sense. It was just 100 yeah. pesos. Imagine that you have to pay $50 to send 100 pesos. That's stupid. So I immediately said, no, my bank account is international, even though I have a, a bank account in Maya bank here. But uh, what I felt is that he was not going to accept that. The fact that he mentioned that he wanted to return money to me, like it's kind of like effective for people to fall into this scam because you feel, ah, it's a money that I'm going to receive. Yeah. But he specifically asked, for Gcash. So yeah. it seems that this type of scam are done through Gcash. Yeah, either Gcash or bank account, he was asking. What I don't understand is how that person got Luna's number, how that person knew what My we ordered. Order. I have no idea. How, how and then like we saw in the map, and we saw that the, the driver, the delivery was almost here already. Yeah, so. So this was not like, oh, we don't know to, if to send you this or this, like, because the delivery was already on his way. And then way we checked our us. order and we really only input one. Only one. A strawberry, strawberry cooler. cooler. Yeah. So, yeah, there was. So that was weird. That's where we were like, like, oh, shit, this must be a scam. So I just blocked the number and moved on. I blocked the number. <laughs> so I blocked the number. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. But then, like, I was just, like, uh, thinking about it, like, oh, shit, like, what if there are so many people out there who f can fall for a thing like this, you know? Yeah. If, especially, like, if it's a person that is new, using Grab, and don't know how it works, they can fall for any of these traps. Yeah. And I think that the end game is to hack into the Gcash. Either that one, or to send you too much money and then tell you to return back ah, some yeah, part. Ah, yeah, the classic. Oh, yeah. I, I send you extra money. Let's say he was supposed to send 100 and, and then, then he sent 1,000. And, and then, then he's like, oh, by mistake, back. I sent you 1,000. Can you please send me 900 back? And then you send them 900 back and then they... Uh, but they actually didn't send you the 1,000. If They just send you a like a... An email with a recibo that says that you got the money, but like you didn't get that yeah, money, yeah. you know? So, yeah, it's a, whatever their end game is up to no good. Don't try to find out. <laughs> There's people uh, who talk to scammers to entertain them and make them waste their time in order for them not to talk to really vulnerable people. Yeah. Those are scam baiters. But I do not have the patience. To do that, so immediately I know it's a scam. I just blocked the number. Yeah, I move on. Yeah, <laughs> but you know, I personally wanted to like make this video so other people are aware of this and they don't fall for this type of tactics. Yeah, what you are know? other scams that they do on Gcash, guys? Because a lot of people has warned us about using Gcash. 
because yeah. it's full of scammers. So also, if you I know seen, about I that, I've seen friends of us on social media saying that their Gcash when uh, got hacked and they just like enter to his Gcash and they send all the money. Yeah. Away, you know, to, to different to different accounts. accounts. Wow. And he couldn't recover it. The Gcash people were like, "Oh, there's nothing we can do about this," you know. So like, uh, because it, because he says that it was him making these transactions, you know, because yeah. it was like someone hacked his account, and someone started sending this money away. Shit. So for Gcash app, it's like the person, the user send his money we don't have anything like, we cannot do it that's fucked up guys yeah have have any experience like this happened to you guys or anyone you know let us know in, in the, the comments chat. yes somehow they got a way to find out that you order something and knew where to call you amazing how fast yeah. they found out and also when we received the order everything was okay everything yeah. was normal Everything nothing was, was missing okay. the driver was like ah oh, here's your order ma'am thank you so much bye huh so <laughs> this person didn't work for that restaurant and this person didn't work for G for for grab and i don't know how they get this information yeah good things you guys did not fall for the scam yeah i mean immediately they started asking financial information to, worry about to do it. transactions outside of the app i immediately was like no this is this is a red no flag. me um, no me this is wrong <laughs> <laughs> so as i said it's like easy for a person to fall on this one because they are telling you i'm gonna give you your money back and then you feel like if i don't accept i'm wasting my money yeah so i was like i acted like i don't care about money like ah oh, it's okay don't refund it then okay bye bye well then we're like oh shit this was weird oh wait wait because it has happened like in other orders it has happened like the we call the drugstore and then suddenly oh we don't have these pills yeah but if you just... want we can substitute it with these other ones it's okay man oh yes and they made the sense or they say oh, we can delete it and they just delete it and adjust the price in the app like they yeah. don't tell you the like we are going to send you the money back where oh, should gee, we send it where's your you know? <laughs> <laughs> and that's everything for this video i hope that you guys enjoy it please let us know in the comments if something similar has happened to you or if you have any answer of all the questions that we had throughout our story please let us know in the, in the comments. comments and thank you so much to our patrons and supporters thank you very much to all our patrons especially emilio val mike val jun foggy pinoy tita wen desk job fred gabriel david sanz and andrew chica also huge shout out to our certified and verified salon addicts especially shelly floor kenny hugh Glenn Yen, Brian Cabusola, Egi, AJ Primiser, Fish21, Yokagi San, Stelberry Yen, Gabe, Uwe Jalilla, WB, Roal, Sherbon, Emilio Tavera, Don Rotopuso, Pinoy OFW Adventure, Six Man, Archie, Desk Job, Jam, Nowhere, Lazy Bear, and Christian Gomez. And now what? This video that appears right here, recommended by YouTube's algorithm, especially for you. So click on it right now.